Hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom and from People Pits. And usually I do this live, but I don't have time to do it live today. So we're going to look at all the games for the 7th of February. I'm going to give you my early leans and all of that stuff I had. If you want my actual picks, my full picks, my favorite picks, go to bpowpicks.com. I'll put the link in the bio for you. We're up 128 units this year already in all sports, mostly hockey. Hockey is my favorite game in the land. However, baseball is absolutely amazing too when you get into baseball season. But we do basketball picks, we do everything, and we hit very well on all of it. Go check it out for yourself. You can get a three-day trial, see what it's all about. All right, let's take a look at... Let's take a look at the games for today. There we go. Okay, it worked. And uh, who I like on each game. All right, Colorado versus Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh did not play well going into the uh, All Star break. Uh, maybe tired. You can make a case that possibly they come out here and are feeling good about themselves, like feeling refreshed and give Colorado a good go and win. But uh, I'm not going to go into every little detail on this because I don't have that much time. But I will say, as long as they have to smith the net, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Colorado has, you know, won the their 6-2-2 uh, two and two against Pittsburgh the last their last 10. Um, if it was a different type of team other than Colorado, Especially with Nichushkin coming back and Bo and Byram coming back, I would say maybe I would say maybe they got a shot. But Colorado is fighting for a playoff spot as well as Pittsburgh. I don't think they're coming into this game light, man. I really don't. I think this is going to be hardcore for Colorado. Uh, I would ha you would have to think so. Like they're not in a playoff spot. They they can't be screwing around. And look at the road trip they're going to go on right now. After this game, they got Tampa Bay. Then they have Florida. So you you think they want to win this one because Tampa is going to be one hell of a game. That's going to be a tough game to win at home against Tampa, Pittsburgh, a team that's been struggling. Uh, since before the All-Star break, now coming in and playing, they're going to want this game. Pittsburgh could win it for sure, no doubt about it. I think they're both going to play hard. I think it's both. they're gonna, both going to play tough. I think the shots will be even, and that's why I take Colorado. Because if the shots being even, I trust Gorgiev over, uh, over that more than I do to Smith. So I'll take... Colorado in that one and as far as the total is concerned I mean they play to the under quite a bit I'm going to go I'm going to say over over six and a half I think both of them want to get their offense going I want to get their legs going early it's probably going to start off slow though so it wouldn't be a good bad I think it'd be a really good game to bet live and if you like to bet live I do it all the time. I did it last night. Made significant. My live as lives have been hitting like crazy. There's two ways. I don't send all my lives on Twitter, but you can go to at Perlo's NHL P O W at P E A R L O Perlo's NHL P O W on Twitter, and I throw some lives out there. I think I went on my Twitter lives. I went two and one. Or you go to bpalpix.com, give yourself a 10-day trial. Maybe you got a Saturday night and you want to have some fun doing live betting. For 10 bucks at bpalpix, you can have some entertainment, have some fun, and make a little money. Make your $10 back. It's like free, free money. San Jose versus Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay was not ready for that game yesterday against Florida. They played Florida Panthers yesterday. You think they're going to be ready for this game? At home, against San I feel sorry for San Jose in this game. Really, um, they're going to be livid. 
they're going to be pissed. Uh, Tampa Bay minus one and a half. Tampa Bay team total over three and a half might be a good look, especially since Kakinen is going to be in for San Jose. He's just absolute ass. Now, Elliott's going to be in for Tampa Bay, but I don't think that changes it enough. I, I just think Tampa Bay is going to be playing too hard. With that in mind, I would lean to the over here, over six and a half. It's at minus 120 right now. Jesus, is that going to creep up to a seven? Hasn't yet, but it might. And I can see why. San Jose plays to the over quite a bit. They're not very good defensively. Tampa Bay should be gunning in this game. I don't care that they played last night, to tell you the honest truth. I, I think they mailed it in about halfway and just realized their legs weren't going. And uh, they're going to be much more driven in this game, I would say. Edmonton versus Detroit. This is a tough one. I I actually lean to a draw here. Edmonton is so inconsistent. They played well coming into going into the break, though. Uh, Detroit played okay. They're, Detroit's a 500 team. Um, they play to the under a lot, which is weird. Like four and six to the under. Uh, let's see, going into the break, Detroit. Uh, lost to the Islanders. They beat Montreal. They beat San Jose. Yeah, they were doing not bad. They were rolling away, at ra rolling pretty good. And Detroit can play well against teams like Edmonton. They can keep up the pace well, especially while they're at home. What's their home record? Uh, 12, 10, and 3. And Oilers are 15, 7, and 1 on the road. Wow. I didn't think their road record was because their home record is not great. I think this could be a draw. Um, Edmonton is not known for playing well coming off of breaks either. Uh, could be different here. It could be flying here. I'm probably going to live bet this, but since I'm doing the video, I'm probably going to want to see who's flying first. If Edmonton comes out flying, Detroit will try to keep up, and then I'd be looking to an over here. If Detroit, Edmonton come, comes out flat, which they're known to do, this will probably end up being an under, and that would go with Detroit. So Take Detroit and the plus money, and I'll say the over for now. But I would really recommend you sub up to bpalpix.com and uh, do some live betting with me tonight. It'd be a lot of fun. Seattle versus the Islanders. Um, for At plus 100, I would take the under 5.5 here with Sorokin and that. Um, I still don't think the Islanders – like, they, they got Horvat. I don't think – he may help their offense down the road, but he's not going to help it right away. That's why I had the under with uh, Philadelphia and the Islanders last night because I, that's going to take a couple games for that chemistry to kick in. Seattle is probably going to be a little sluggish in the first period. I think I like the Islanders' money line first per period here because their legs were already rolling last night. Um, they're going to they're going to want to come out hard at home. As far as the full side is concerned, again another a, a possible draw. I, I think this is going to be a really tough battle. Um, the Islanders are still probably going to be feeling pretty good about themselves that the organization has shown some faith in them by going to get Horvat. Seattle struggled a little bit going into the break, mostly because they were exhausted. But now they got some rest and they're back and they're focused and their road record is insane. I it's hard to go against Seattle on the road. I mean, look at this road record. Sixteen five and two. And the Islanders are fifteen nine and two at home. Much better home team. So yeah, this is gonna be tough. I, I could see a draw. If it's a draw. Then I would go with Seattle. The Islanders are terrible in overtime. But it's going to be tight. Um, and I would go the under at plus 100. I don't know if I'm going to bet the side on this one, but I, I, I don't know. 
I, I'm not, t I, I might not bet anything I'm saying here right now, but um, I, I'll bet some of it for sure. No doubt about that. But uh, if I were to bet a side on here, I'd take the plus money and go under five and a half with Sorokin and that the Islanders still having, I mean, they only won two one last night and uh, their ability to shut down teams at home. So we'll go with that. Uh, Vegas versus Nashville. Vegas, I think, like in the last 10 games, and sorry I'm not looking at showing you everything here, before the break, they couldn't score with the darn. Nashville really has, is not a big scoring team to begin with. So I think the under would be in play here, especially with Sorokin in net for Nashville. As far as the side, I don't like Vegas's flow right now. I just don't. Maybe... Maybe they get their break and they've got it all together and they come out flying and playing the way they can play. They are a good road team, but I think I would go with Nashville. I don't I don't like the price, though, at minus 138. I don't think they're that much of a favorite against Vegas right now. Uh, I, I don't really like the price, but if I'm going to do it, that's what I'm going to do. And Anaheim versus Chicago, the, t the game that everybody tells you not to bet. Um, Anaheim played last night, so they're going to have Stolars in net. Uh, I'll take a quick look here to see if there's an update for goaltending. No, Brian Elliott still hasn't been confirmed, but Cooper does that all the time. Peter Morazic. Yeah, with Peter Morazic's in net, uh, Chicago owns the Ducks, so I'll go with the trend and take Chicago. But I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% sure about the side, but I would go over six and a half. Um, Chicago has some rest. They Both teams are poor defensively. They're young. They got nothing to play for. Who's going to be blocking shots in this game? Nobody. They're probably just going to go at it offensively back and forth. And since both of them have bad goaltenders, I think the over is the play. All right, that's my full 42. I did a real quick for you. Hopefully you enjoy it. Comment in the comment section and tell me if you like these quick little videos like this. And uh, I'll do more of them. Have a great day.